What's up everybody? In this video, I'm gonna show you how I go about installing a mechanical fuel pump in a small block Chevy. So if you've seen any of my other videos, you know I picked up this C20 pickup. I hit this magical moment because I am now almost done with the engine compartment, mostly with the engine. Uh, I took all the parts off, painted them, resealed everything, intake manifold, new timing chain, all that good stuff. I'm at the point now of uh, putting in the fuel pump that I noticed a lot of the videos online kind of overcomplicate this process. So I just thought I'd show you how I do it. It's really simple. Let's grab our tools. Let's jump right into it and fix our fuel pumps. All right. So obviously the first thing we want to do is clean up the spot where the fuel pump bracket's going to sit. So the silicone adheres nice and clean. All right, this looks nice and clean now. I, I did use a scraper and then I used a wire brush to get it clean. I know using a wire brush on a block is kind of frowned upon, but it was a brand new wire brush. So I was pretty confident it wasn't gonna break any bristles off inside the engine or anything. So the next step is we wanna find this bolt here that's sitting right next to the harmonic balancer. That bolt actually goes into the fuel pump rod channel and we'll hold the rod up when we're putting in the mechanical fuel pump. So let's take that bolt out and then put it somewhere safe so you can find it again. And then we're gonna find a longer bolt to hold the rod up. All right, so I got everything laid out right here. We got my fuel pump, my gaskets, rod, bolts, bracket, everything. Here's the little bolt that I just pulled out. And you'll notice that the top fuel pump bolts are slightly longer, which is exactly what I need. And they're the same thread. They're the same 3 8 16 like the rest of a Chevy small block. Um, so I'm actually gonna grab one of these longer fuel pump bolts and I'm gonna grab my rod and then I'm gonna go put the rod in the engine and screw this bolt down so that it holds the rod up into the engine when I put the mechanical fuel pump in. So I have the rod up in the engine I'm tightening down the bolt and then the bolt is going to hold the rod up there. So when I take my mechanical fuel pump and put it in, I'm making sure that the rod is sitting on top of the mechanical fuel pump, not sitting underneath it, not doing anything. You can also bring your engine up to top dead center here and it will help, uh, help the rod go up further, but Fine if you just push it up with your thumb or whatever and tighten the bolt down. All right, so we got that bolt holding up the rod just how we wanted. There's a little gasket material left over right there. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that. Um, then I'm gonna throw some silicone on. I'm using right stuff. Then I have a little paper Felpro gasket, then more silicone, and then the fuel pump bracket and you know, everything else. Let's go ahead and get that lower bracket put on with all the proper silicone. I'm actually doing a pretty light layer of silicone. I just put it in a few spots and I'm gonna blend it with my finger and then I'll put the bracket on. Okay, light layer of silicone on the block. I'm gonna take the gasket and stick it to the block, like so. Now I'm going to grab the bracket and put some silicone around the outside of it. So right here, and then around the bolt holes. Take my finger, smooth it out, make sure it's covering every part that it can. You don't want to have any gaps in your silicone because a gap will leak. Now I got my bracket bolts in one hand, put the bracket on, screw in the bottom. So 
So I'm not gonna like fully tighten, just a little past um, hand tighten here. Once the pump is on, I'll tighten everything. All right, so we have the bracket in, we have the gasket in. Um, you can see some of the silicone popping out there. Rod is still being held up by that bolt. Uh, now we're gonna put the silicone on the bracket part. Then we're gonna put the gasket, more silicone, and then fuel pump. Tighten up those bolts, swap some bolts around, and we're done. Let's get into it and put the fuel pump and its gaskets on now. So when you're putting in the fuel pump, you want to go at an angle like this to make sure that that push rod is sitting on top of the mechanical fuel pump because that push rod is hitting the can, which is pushing this up and down, pumping your fuel. And remember, we have that push rod being held up by that bolt. So we're going to go in at an angle. Now I'm holding the fuel pump. And I'm gonna undo that bolt that's holding the push rod because that's my other fuel pump bolt. Grab that bolt you just took out of the block that was holding the rod and put it in its proper spot to hold the whole fuel pump. So now the top bolts are all tightened. I just need to tighten these bottom bolts here and we should be good to go. And then don't forget to throw that bolt that we initially took out into the block. Um, I put a little non-hardening thread sealer on mine just because this is going into the block and I don't want a little leak out of this bolt hole. So go ahead and put that bolt back in. All right, that was the whole video, everybody. I hope it helped you out. If it did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out my channel for more car-related videos. Thanks for watching.